Attention up, citizen Silverboot here. The old listening to and are watching Chasimus Rider Video Reviews. A review that values strength, honor, majesty, and, well, hopefully unlike myself, vital intelligence. To the first out of several reviews that are from the um, haul that I've got from Auto Assembly. I had to delete all the footage on my video camera, but I made sure most of the uh, all my AA footage has been backed up. All the footage that's after the AA footage is gone. I didn't want to save it, um, but yeah. So this is the video review for the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord. <laughs> that and the component, the five components are. The Tyrannosaurus, Save Tooth Tiger, Triceratops, Mastodon, and the Pterodactyl here. So that's our uh, that's the five components. Um, let's take a look at the Save Tooth Tiger first and see the much nice detail that it actually has as a figure. Here we have the tri um, Save Tooth Tiger, and it's very nice. It's Yellow, grey, with some blue, black, white stick outs, some grey, silver, and black stick outs with yellow, and some robotic design type stick outs on the sides here. Both the same stick outs on either side. Got a yellow stick up inside there. You got this weird symbol here. Got very nice chrome tusks, and there's quite a bit of um, detail that you can just pick up from the distance that it is. To form the tank mode component for this, as in the section for the tank that it needs to be, you want to fold up the fangs, like so. Then you want to fold up the feet, like so. Then you want to fold the, the back feet up, like that, and like that. Then you want to lift this up like so. So that's basically one part of the tank mode or mid Megazord foot mode. And to show you that it rolls rolls very nicely. So let's take a look at the Triceratops. Triceratops you've got this weird yellow sticker there these weird machinery like type look um, stickers there you got very nicely detailed so I'm going to let you have a quick nicer look around the detailing around here very very nice details around here on both sides of the figure um, this my Megzord isn't complete because when I bought my AA it didn't come with the horns or the little chrome gun that it's meant to have on its tail so Sorry about that, folks. The Triceratops is missing its tip of the tail, and um, the Pterodactyl is missing it, missing it, the f her feet. But anyway, this is very nice. It rolls. Yeah, as you can see, it rolls very nicely. To get this into the tank tank form, you want to just lift up the tail and lock it into place, and that's basically it. Let's take a look at the Tyrannosaurus tr now. Um, Tyrannosaurus is red. Very nice details on the tail here, as you can hopefully pick up. All around the figure. Nice details around here on the legs. Nice red um, sticker apps there. Nice red sticker apps. Nice green little spot there. Nice sticker apps here. A Power Rangers lightning bolt down the side. Nice stick ups around here on the back. Very nice detail as you can pick up. Uh, this one actually has quite a bit of articulation. You got arm movement, bobbing up and down movement, and mouth opening jaw movement. So that was one, two, three. Um, well, legs can go down, up, bend at the knee, put out the foot. That's basically all. Now the tank sequence for this guy, basically all you want to do is lift the hand the his hands up. 
keep these at an angle and lock and fold the feet down like so. Keep it keep the legs at an angle and fold it down like so. That's how I tend to keep it. Some people like to um do it this way. Bring the legs up and then lock it like so. Basically it's how I'm doing it doing it anyway. And some people like to just lean the Tyrannosaurus down a little bit so you got something like this as a crouch. So what you want to do then is get the Triceratops. There's a hole there. You know, put it in the port there and it locks. You do the exact same for for the saber tooth tiger on the other side. There's a type of connector there port for that connector and you just connect it in and they have part of the tank mode if you can see it part of the tank mode starting to form so let's get on to the mastodon mastodon has been one of my favorite out of the set um due to because it's black it's basic and it's it's a prehistoric elephant so yeah um got some nice details as you can hopefully pick up around here more around there some nice details picked up on the feet around there around there and around there very nice stick apps on both sides are the exact same so that's on the other side this the other stripes on the other side this one's on the other side the eyes are the same but one's peeling off on mine these are the same so they're very nice tusks the trunk can go up and down up and down up and down and um, you got movement of the tusks. To get this connected to um, its component for the tank, all you want to do is remove the um, mastodon head, take this little peg, lift it, bring this around, grab it, there's this little hole as you can see there, and all you want to do is just peg that nicely and snug into place. And then, then you got that sort of type of formation. So what you want to do with the rest of the mastodon, is you want to strain out the back feet, so, separate them on either side, rotate it around like that, put these up in, in an angle, like so. So when you come to connect it, you place on... The, these tabs will fit in these two ports there and there and these will fit onto the sides there these will fit on the sides now like so so basically so basically you want to just go down connect peg peg and there you have it um, tank mode um, it's not complete like I said the tank mode ain't anyway pterodactyl basic it's a red type chest plate thing piloted by Kimley Transaurus piloted by Tra Jason Mastodon Zack Zeta Tiger Trini and Tr Triceratops Billy what you want to do here you want to just flip the head around like that Fold wings in, make sure they lock, and what I do is just place it gently down the back. And that just gives the nice effect of the full nice tank mode. What I think is really nice, the tank mode is very nice I think, um, it's very, a very nice thing they include in the original. Um, so let's take a good 360. Rose very well. So, yeah. So, Megs or Mode? Well, you take off the um, pterodactyl, fold the wings out again, fold in the head. So you, so it's like that. Then fold in the wings like so. So it becomes the chest plate. 
So you want to move that down to the side. Um, you want to lift the the parts with the M on them upwards. Next, so like so, and like so. Or you can just leave them down and do them last. That's what I tend normally to do. Um, you want to then take off the um, mastodon head, fold that down. That will become its shield next, but we don't need it at the moment. Come to the tail bit of the Tyrannosaurus. You want to lift that up. That little tab there will peg into this little port here. The tail in this little gap. So what you want to do is lift. Peg into place. Next you want to um, get the legs. Bring them down like so. So you should just strain out the legs. Press these black bones so they strain out more on both sides. Black, there's this black button there. Black button. And you want to just bring that down. Then you want to lift up the safety tiger head. Then follow it by its feet. And do the same with the triceratops. Then you want to bring the arms down like so. You want to open it up, open those panels up, and then rotate the mastodon feet around, and do the same on the other side. So rotate the mastodon feet around, and then open the chest plate, chest cavity of the Tyrannosaurus, like so. Get the Tyrannosaurus head, and all you want to do is fold it down and then bring that up and then it'll lock that into place then you want to get the pterodactyl that port, that port post, post and all you want to do is just get it so that they're on straight and pick it on and then get these horns and fold it up like that so there you have the original Megazord. Let's take a look at the head sculpt. Very, very nice head sculpt, as you can tell. Looks really, really like the Mighty Morphin Megazord's head. Nice yellow eyes, nice yellow, black, and whatnot. So let's just zoom out now for more of the nice and glorious shine of the Megazord. Um, articulation, well, we've got full 360 arms. Uh, no leg articulation. Um, if you say that's articulation, then yeah, it has leg articulation. No head articulation, so... That's basically it. Same detail in it of all individuality, so there's no detail difference. So, accessories. It comes with its power sword. Nice detail on the sword here. On, including on the handle. And a nice blade detail as well. So this is a very nice sword. So basically, all you want. To, so basically, how he holds it, get the sword, hold the power sword, master on head, form shield, lift arm up, place down, and there you go. This is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord, original Megazord, and do I actually love it? I do actually enjoy this figure, and I am glad that I'm hoping you enjoy as well. Um, next part of this um, next video is going to be on the Dragon Zord, so stay tuned for that. Because there's going to be a quite a bit of things that I will love about the Dragon Zord. But anyway, this is Jasmus Rider or Jasmus Prime or Jazzy, or whatever you want to call me. And this is the video review coming to a close of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers original Megazord. See you next time for the review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dragon Zord. See you then, Jasmus Rider, out.